guys! So today we're going to do a sketch vlog video. This is where I sit here, rant and ramble because we have something to talk about. It's an epidemic that's been going around. Actually, it's been around for a very, very long time. Just now, it is swarming people and it is going around like a virus because we have this thing now called technology and the internet which makes it more widespread and just causes it more suffering. And this is called fangirling or fandoms. I will save you the hassle of going to Madame Google and looking it up yourself. And let me just tell you, if you're a fangirl, you are not alone because I grew up with this as well. There's this boy band who's now a group of grown adult men called NSYNC. And I even had friends that flew all the way across the United States of America to visit the place that they were born at. Not where they live, where they were born at. The same people that knew his shoe size, the underwear size, everything. Probably his first kiss and what brand boxers he wore. I am not joking you. Justin Timberlake, I had a friend that was that insane. But I shouldn't say it's insane because a lot of people suffer from this. So today we are going to talk about tips that I think will help you to get over being a fangirl or fandom. If you do want to stay in this situation, it's okay. I understand. I was a fangirl of someone who was dead. Even though I knew Elvis Presley was dead at eight years old, I still wanted to marry him because I thought he was so attractive. I used to practice his signature on the back of old photographs of him. I'm that crazy, even at the young, ripe age of eight. So tip number one of being over a fandom or being a fangirl would be to think of them in the most situations that are kind of awkward that we all go through. They poop, they fart. I know it's really hard to think about. When you go through that moment in life and you're like, you're the best, I worship the ground that you walk on. I know how that feels. I was the same way. I wanted to be a Spice Girl when I was 11, like dancing and singing in the mirror. I kid you not, I was in that stage in life. Yes, it's very crazy and sad, but they were really good. I still think they're good. But I'm not like wanting to be Scary Spice and then putting my hair up in like a weave, like little buns on top of my head and dancing around and just freaking going crazy everywhere. Because that would just be awkward. People might think that I do that for a living now and actually a stripper if I do it in public. Because I'm at that age, I guess. But if you think about it and you're at that worshipping stage, just think about, do you really know this person? I hate to break it to you, but we don't really know them. What if they aren't a nice person? That leads me to the next thing, which is maybe sometimes if you hear negative news about them, don't take it too much personally to heart where you're in anger. Think about, oh, Maybe if they're peeing in a restaurant kitchen, that maybe that is really bad. Maybe that really did happen. Maybe this person doesn't have the greatest morals. Maybe everything they do isn't perfectly right. And then sometimes we idolize them. But when you grow older and you idolize for something like singing, you may not be a singer. Maybe you're going to start growing older and idolizing people that are really have truly something that you want to accomplish in life, like a goal, like a career. It's maybe a little bit more cooler, realistic to idolize someone who is also, I don't know, a filmmaker or a doctor, just someone that you really aspire to be. Because I don't know if everybody wants to be dancing and singing up on stage for the rest of their life and be watched by millions and millions of people and being judged by them. That's crazy. I mean, people do it for a living, I guess it's not that crazy, but you know what I mean? And just think about those moments when you're like, oh my gosh, I want your babies, I want to grind up on you, I want to be like dry humping you, almost at the twerking stage and you just like go crazy and it's the hormones and we start to have periods when we're like 11 to 13 or whatever age you are when you have periods and it's just a crazy time in our lives and you just cannot control it and sometimes you profusely sweat, like you're sweating and it's like that nervous sweat you don't know if it's because you're excited or you're nervous or you're worried or you're stressed out, but... I know how that is and fangirling brings on these intentions and like motions in life and you see a picture of Ryan Gosling and you're like oh my gosh and you just start don't realize that your jaw's dropping and maybe you're drooling this happens I understand but we can't always relate guys and put them on a pedestal to look like other guys we may like like Ryan Gosling isn't literally going to go up to your house and just pop up one day like girl let's go out I will carry your purse while you pick out all your favorite MAC lipstick shades. So we need to see like the love and kindness and funny hilarity in guys like their comedy and you know just the special things in guys around us that are in your neighborhood or going to your school because if you relate all of them to Liam, Harry, you know the 1D boys we might get disappointed especially if they're like a lot older than us. 
girl and if all else fails and you cannot get over this fangirling phase in your life, you know, when we get older we can just keep it as like a hidden phantom inside of us. Unless you have like friends who also like it and you can all freak out to each other. I was unlucky enough to like stuff that wasn't that popular when I was younger. But I understand if you do have fellow friends and you just like all love to scream till it's like high pitched at the top of your lungs about one thing in common that you all love and adore to death. I'm just letting you know that this isn't weird, that we all kind of go through this a little bit in life, some more extreme than the others. I mean, if it doesn't hurt anybody else and your friends or close family and everything, I would say it's okay. And I'm not telling you to stop doing it, I'm just giving you tips on what we could do to help it ease the pain of your heart a little bit. Because I know our hearts are like a seesaw with everything at certain ages in our lives. So that's just my rant about fandoms and fangirls, and what I would like to know today is, how would you get over being a huge fangirl that's obsessive about something? It could be something as simple as coffee, a TV show, I was in that fandom of Breaking Bad, oh my gosh. It could be One Direction, it could be Ryan Gosling, it could be anything. Sometimes we just obsess over things that we really love and we don't want to let it go and we hold it tight like struggling like a little animal until it's suffocating to death and it's like cherishing our childhood a little bit. Does that sound crazy? And because last time on Sketch Vlogs we talked about what are some distractions that you've been having in life lately and a lot of you guys have been agreeing with me with the Candy Crush. Oh my gosh, you guys have been putting your levels. And many of you, I don't know if you guys wanted to shout out, but you guys said my videos and that was super cute. But I can't wait to hear your guys' responses. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links down below to all the original art pieces in this video if you want to purchase one of them. And if you didn't see it, yesterday went up is a contest giveaway video. Oh my gosh, if you didn't see it, you should go see it because you can enter in a contest to win free art supplies. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will definitely be seeing you on Monday with makeup videos. And I love you all. Bye. So I decided to buy not one, but two different sets to give away. One for people who like to draw and one for people who like to paint. So stay tuned to the end of this video to figure out how to win one of these kits because there's going to be a contest entry and I'll just tell you about that later. So let's go through the first kit because I started out my channel drawing.